Chapter 1 of the story introduces us to a high school setting where students are engrossed in watching highlights from an altered fight on a video sharing platform called PowTube. The protagonist, Gary, is preoccupied with his phone and receives a mysterious message instructing him to be somewhere at 6 in the evening. The two main characters, Tom and Gary, are described as friends with contrasting personalities. Gary is described as impulsive, hairless, and eccentric, while Tom is reserved, prefers low-maintenance choices, and avoids social interaction. Despite their differences, they have a strong friendship. The story transitions to the altered fight, where two fighters, Kirk Summerfield and Sam Dillpickle, bear uncanny resemblances to Tom and Gary. Kirk, an altered with cheetah-like attributes, faces off against Sam, whose transformation resembles a frog. The altered fights involve individuals who have been genetically modified with DNA from ancient powerful creatures. These altered humans have enhanced abilities, making them stronger, faster, and less susceptible to diseases. The fight is intense, with Sam using his frog-like tongue to attack Kirk, who retaliates by cutting off Sam's tongue. Kirk eventually emerges victorious, winning the Altered Fighters Rookie Tournament. The story highlights the popularity of altered matches, which have become the most popular combat sport globally due to the fascination with the altered individual's abilities. However, becoming an altered is a privilege limited to the rich and powerful due to the high cost of obtaining the necessary fossils and DNA infusion. Tom and Gary are portrayed as ardent fans of the altered matches, with Gary particularly obsessed with the prospect of quick riches and fame associated with winning large checks at these events. The chapter concludes with Gary's growing obsession with money foreshadowing a dark path he may soon embark on, setting up potential conflicts and developments in the story. In Chapter 2, Gary, the protagonist, is a high school student who faces challenges due to his poor eyesight and lack of physical strength. Despite these disadvantages, he possesses a keen observation skill which he uses to predict his opponent's moves during a rugby match at school. However, his attempt to tackle the team's star player, Blake, results in a broken nose. Gary's friend Tom is a constant companion and provides comic relief with his light-hearted banter. Gary's admiration for Blake is tinged with envy as he sees him as a potential candidate for becoming an altered, a powerful being that Gary aspires to be. Despite his jealousy, Gary acknowledges Blake's sportsmanship and kindness, which makes him popular among their classmates. Gary lives in a modest neighborhood with his mother and younger sister, Amy. The family's financial struggles are evident in their living conditions, and Gary and Amy share a bedroom due to the small size of the apartment. Despite these challenges, the family maintains a positive and supportive atmosphere. Gary's determination to improve their lives leads him to a dangerous decision. He joins a gang. This decision is kept a secret from his family and friends. Towards the end of the chapter, Gary meets with the gang leader at a nightclub, hinting at the dark path that lies ahead for him. This chapter sets the stage for Gary's journey, highlighting his struggles, aspirations, and the risky choices he makes to change his life. In Chapter 3, Gary's decision to join the Underdogs, a well-known local gang, culminates as he undergoes a journey apart from his familial environment and school life. Struggling to adapt to this gritty underworld, he is intimidated by the gang's leader, Damien Hawk, a man with a captivatingly insanity-ridden gaze. An aura of fear tracks Gary's footsteps within the gang, further solidified by witnessing the gang's ruthless methodologies, emerging as a stark contrast to the romanticized depictions of gangs in comics and manga Gary had read previously. The prevalent socioeconomic conditions shaped by the introduction of autonomous machinery escalate Gary's personal motives to join the gang. His intention, fueled by the increasing financial constraints of his family due to mass unemployment and the tiered societal system, is rooted in his determination to prevent a further digression to a lower tier. His desire to pay back his mother's sacrifices and secure a stable future for his sister drives him to remain in this dangerous circuit. The arrival of the altered Kirk 
brings relief to Gary. An idol in Gary's eyes, Kirk is a prominent figure in the underdogs, and their interaction brings a fresh perspective into Gary's chaotic situation. Amid the gang's routine activities, Kirk notices Gary's broken nose, and under the pretext of imparting strength to withstand his new life, he teaches Gary boxing basics. Despite Gary's aptitude at learning theory, his physical constraints reveal themselves, reminding him of his weaknesses. An unexpected interruption in their training leads Gary back to the world of the underdogs. The gang tasks him with the role of a transporter, mirroring his ordinary life where obligations often strip him of personal choices. His responsibility is to ensure the safe delivery of mysterious content held within metal briefcases. As he accepts the strange new assignment, the briefcases spark his curiosity, adding a hint of mystery to the dark path Gary has embarked upon into the grim world of organized crime.